have our new Solitaire DT here. We're planting grain with it. So we're gonna we're gonna kind of show you how it works. Right now we're gonna load it. We have we have a truck with the grain seed in it, and we use our big auger here to load it. Normally we would use our grain cart, which was sitting over there, but I don't know where it got parked. But we would use a grain cart and we would fill it with that, but the tarp on top of the grain cart was bad. So we decided not to use it because we didn't want rain to get into the grain seed. So this is the DT. It works really well. It's got tires on the front just to help compact. It has a space between right here, which the tractor tires compact right there. That's why there's that space. But then you have a row of the discs. These are the same discs that are on the Heliodor. Uh, this one does have an A and a B bin. So you have a split bin. So if you wanted to do grain on one side and fertilizer on the other and put it in together, or if you wanted to do grain with a cover crop, you could do that too. For us, we're just filling them both with grain and planting grain from both bins. And you also, so then you have the, the prep wheels back here. This is a trapezoidal roller. So this makes a nice packed groove for the seed. So then you have the trapezoidal roller, you have your seed discs, and then your press wheels in the back. It has a fan that's up under there that blows the seed back to each of these four pods. And then has the hoses that come up and go to each row. Now there is a, there's a sensor on one of the hoses and that tells you if you have good pressure. So as long as this sensor right there is saying you have good pressure, then all of them have good pressure. If something comes up in here and is blowing around in there, this one will lose a little bit of pressure and it'll, it'll say, Hey, you're, uh, you're not getting the right seed rate. So blows the seed back into each of these and then evenly spreads the seed out. So it is a pretty awesome upgrade. We used to have the compact solitaire and we upgraded to this one because when they put these wheels on the front, it made it so you could go a little bit faster because it used to want to like bounce a little bit. It used to want to bounce a little bit, but when they put those wheels on, it kept it more stable. And they also, another thing they did from the old one is this trapezoidal roller it used to be metal and it was big. Now they put the grooves in it. So with those grooves in there, it makes it so you're not, you don't snow plow material. It just lets the material flow through. So if you have softer soil, it's not gonna snow plow and, and build up. So we're just getting it filled up here. We have the truck dumping in over here. Now the grain seed, if you're wondering why it's red, that is just a starter fertilizer that they put on, a seed treat that they put on so that when you put it in the ground, it just starts to grow. It gives it an extra boost right off, right off the bat. So that's why it's red. doesn't take too long to fill it. It is easier with a grain cart. So if you have a grain cart, I highly recommend that or a, or a seed tender or something. Doing it this way, you have to have somebody in the tractor and you have to have somebody in the truck because you can't shut it off and drive forward at the same time. With the grain cart, you just pull up, you can see inside, turn on and off. Makes it a lot easier. But our grain cart's broke down right now, so can't use it.
now. We're just planting this field. This will be the last field we have to plant. So this is the this is the DT that goes by. Does a really good job and it does an awesome job because of those discs. You can have ground that's pretty uneven. We had a couple fields that we didn't even work up the potato vines so we just went through with this. And it was able to chop them up good enough and get it all worked up so it's nice and smooth. So the discs and everything on this field just make it exceptionally good. gets back to this end there's actually the little platform that's up by the bin I'm gonna pull that down and right on top all right I'm gonna hop up here and go for a little ride that way you guys can kind of see how this how this whole thing works from the top. Kind of get a top down view. And I'm hanging on, don't worry. You gotta go over here and get past this pivot and do the long rows. Puts the tires down, puts the discs down. That back there goes down. We're going about eight miles an hour. go right where there's no tires so it preps that piece of dirt so it all has even prep GPS sure makes nice straight rows get in the cab with them and show you how it works inside. This ladder folds up nice. The old one didn't used to have this little walkway with the step and it was really nice to be able to get up there pretty easy. All right, I'm in the cab now. Dropping it down going up this hill that is kind of soft and it's been worked up pretty well with the crotch chisel plow but this tractor does a pretty good job of pulling this thing it would be nice to have a little bit bigger tractor but it does a good job so Christopher's going to kind of walk us through how this thing runs and what all the stuff on the screen is I've got a little bit of it in some of the other clips, but right now we're planting 118.8 pounds per acre. Uh, I'm going out of the B bin, so all those are blue. When you lift it up and they stop, they'll be white. This is our speed up here. You, we can go a little bit faster if we want to. This little green smiley face just means that there isn't any sensor problems or errors. This means our drill's down. This is our fan speed. This is how many acres the bee bin has planted so far, so 790.5. This is the percentage of our, our discs, the, the two rows of discs. It's a percentage of how far everything is down. And I can adjust that up a little bit or down a little bit, like going up that hill back there. Uh, sometimes I gotta pick it up just a little bit. 
so the tractor will pull it up the hill. And we'll get turned around, then I'll show you uh, some of the other things. So, back. GPS. So, you can see it's white. I put it down. It turns blue. That means they're all working. You can shut individual ones off. If you're going to do an edge or something like that or a boundary and only wanted half of it. So this right here is our seed. This is our seed discs pressure. Right now with this field is really soft. I got a really light pressure. I'm putting it at about half, half inch to one inch deep. Push the button and that's your roller packer that's in front of your seed seeding discs. That's the pressure on the packer. So that helps firm up that seed bed right before the discs go into it. Um, a few other things. So this is the camera on the back of the machine. Uh, if I want to see the camera, if you go right now and I hit number two, it's just black. That's the camera inside the bin. But if I go to this wrench, go to the next screen, I'll see these lights. I can turn the bin camera on. There's a working camera, but the bin camera on. So with that bin camera on, I can go back to uh, this. It will probably still be dark because it was full. So it's still dark because that bin is full. I haven't started using that one yet. But that's how you can see in the bin once it starts to empty out. Um, you can, there's a few different, like, tips and tricks this blue wheel here if you stop if you stop let's say you got to stop and move a pivot and it takes about three or four seconds for your seed to go from the metering wheels to actually be on the ground so you can hold that down and it'll it'll turn them on and start pre metering it so then you count to about two if you don't go start moving within two seconds it will shut them off but that's how you can start planting from a stop position without lifting up, backing up, and going over it again. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to ask Christopher how he likes using this and uh, what are some of the benefits. So I put about 1,400 acres on it so far now. Um, I really like it. It's, it's doing a really good job. One of the main benefits is... Um, with the discs up front, you can work up the soil. You work it up. You can work up your tractor tracks, and uh, you can get your seed in the moisture, even if it's drier on top. Um, some other things with the press wheels in the front. So if you look at it and with the footage, you can see where the tractor track tires go. There's a space in the tires that go across the front of the drill, but all of it firms down before it gets to the discs so that it's going to be an uh, all level it doesn't try to plug it keeps it keeps the machine from hopping and jumping and, uh, and it makes a, a nice even level seed bed after you're done planting all right well i hope you enjoyed the uh the video about the new lemkin dt solitaire dt drill and uh yeah if you want more info on it like to buy one just uh contact your dealer we're going to be bouncing around out here so uh yeah, give, it, give us a shout out if you have any questions yeah i hope you liked it and we'll see you in the next one